Hi, I'm Wayne Lewis from Oracle and I'm here to demonstrate how to convert Red Hat Enterprise Linux to Oracle Linux and at the same time upgrade from whatever version you were previously running Red Hat Enterprise Linux to the latest version available from Oracle Linux. In this case we're converting from Red Hat 6.3 to Oracle Linux 6.6 .6, which is the latest version uh, at the time of the demo was created. So the first thing we do is we go to Oracle's public yum repository and we download the repo files into our Red Hat system uh, so that we can get updates and patches and fixes from Oracle's public yum repository which are available for anyone to use completely for free on Red Hat, CentOS, Oracle Linux systems. We have to remove a single file from our Red Hat system which is associated with the Red Hat network because we're not going to be using that anymore. Uh, we're going to be using the public gun repository. So we download the repo, we remove the individual file, uh, and then we're going to perform a full yum update. And the first thing we do is we show that we have the repo lists. Uh, we're going to run a full update, and the reason we do this is to make sure that we've got all the latest fixes, patches, and updates because if you're running an obsolete Linux system, then it's very susceptible to attack or bugs or fixes and the only difference between updates from 6.3 to 6.6 .6 is all the fixes and updates, there's no new features, it's just all the bugs and uh, issues that were fixed in the meantime. So we've downloaded all the updates, we're converting to the system uh, and we're, in this case we've got 773 different individual changes to show you how many fixes were made between 6.3 and 6.6 .6 which is why it's important to install them. Uh, and now we've done a, the upgrade, you can see that we've got the original Red Hat kernel. And um, because we're not using case splice in this case, we have to do a reboot to get the new kernel. So we do a reboot and we can see that it says Red Hat compatible kernel. Uh, and as it's booting up now, we'll see that not only does it say Oracle Linux 6, but it's converted and upgraded to 6.6. .6. So we're using the current latest release. And once that's booted, we can log in to the system, exactly the same as before, and we can see that we're using the Red Hat kernel, the same kernel that Red Hat would use, and we'll even use, uh, even Red Hat release will show that we're running a, a Red Hat 6.6 .6 system. So thanks for that brief introduction, showing how easy it is to convert from Red Hat to Linux to Oracle Linux. Thanks very much.